So this is the hemorrhage control oscopy. Um, for this, we're going to consider our scene safety, obviously, and wear the appropriate PPE, which is our gloves, goggles, masks, and gowns, if required. Um, there is a severe hemorrhage in this instance, so we're going to explain to the patient what we need to do to stop this hemorrhage and gain their consent for the procedure. Um, we're going to position them appropriately. In this case, the um, lacerations are cut on her arm. Um, we've found this after performing the primary assessment and have located a severe hemorrhage. So first we're going to elevate the extremity and inspect the wound. We can see that it is bleeding quite freely. Um, so we're going to apply direct pressure onto the wound with a sterile dressing. Um, we're going to apply a secure pressure dressing and bandage that. That's my bandage, sorry. <laughs> So after this is applied, we can assess the pulse, um, checking that it's still um, present and that it's at a steady pace and isn't too weak or strong. Um, we're going to check that she can still move her hand, she can, and um, she can feel me holding her hand. Um, yeah, so we can apply further dressings and bandages if bleeding still persists. And if bleeding still persists after this, we will have to um, apply the tourniquet. So we'll locate um, the tourniquet, which is over here. Um, we'll, we'll be applying the pressure continuously in this spot still. Um, we'll be applying the tourniquet in the appropriate position, which is not on the joint, but just um, above the injury site but not touching the joint. Um, we will document what time we've applied this tourniquet and the site it was applied um, while ensuring it remains visible so other health practitioners can see it. Um, we shouldn't remove or loosen this until the patient has arrived at hospital. Um, after this, we'll reassess the pulse, motor and sensory functions, which is distal to the site of the injury. And after this, we'll properly position the patient supine with legs elevated to reduce shock, like so. Um, we would cover the patient in a way to preserve modesty and advise immediate transport after this.